Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we have our first update on the dry dock project. By the time you watch this, we will have been on the blocks for about two weeks. We're going to replace our previous dry dock episodes that aired every Wednesday night with this series of updates every week on how the project is going. Over the past two weeks, we've drained the dry dock and inspected the ship. And the most important project we've started is pressure washing the hull. We're actually pressure washing the hull three different times. This is part of the painting process. It's all preparatory to repainting the ship. We started with a low pressure wash that is to get all the growth off of the ship. We found remarkably little growth on board, probably as a result of us sitting in fresh water. It rained the entire first week we were here, which made it a little bit miserable. You could tell that in uh, many of our early videos about this, where there was water on the lens and all that stuff. However, that was great for the pressure washing. Normally, you would try to pressure wash all the growth off the first day you get the ship out of the water so that it doesn't dry out. It becomes much harder to blast off once it dries out. But that was impossible to do because of the size of the ship. And thankfully, the rain kept the growth wet and made it relatively easy to take off throughout the entire project. We started the pressure washing at the aft port quarter, which is behind the uh, curtains right now. Once that part of the ship had been pressure washed and they continued to work their way around, they started an ultra high pressure wash, uh, something like 3000 PSI, and that's blasting all the rust off the ship, it's blasting all the old paint off the ship, and uh, it's getting the ship down to white metal. It's also such an aggressive blast that it's profiling the metal a little bit, so it's not perfectly smooth. Paint is going to be able to adhere to it a lot better because it is profiled instead of smooth. The problem is, within a couple of hours of pressure washing, you start to develop flash rust. So we're going to pressure wash a third time immediately before painting. As the pressure washer starts to move further up the port side of the ship, the work that they've already done is going to be outside of the blast radius of the dust and the water from the previous pressure washing, and that is going to allow uh, the painters to come in behind them. So before the painters start, which they will have started before you watch this video, they're going to do another low pressure wash just to get any last remnants of rust off, uh, desalinate the hull just a little bit more, and uh, get any grime, dirt, that sort of stuff off that might have gotten on there from uh, previous uh, work that was happening around it. Then after that, they're going to come back and start spraying the first of the system of coatings on there. The other major thing that's happened is we had our first weekend of dry dock tours. It was an amazing weekend. We were completely sold out on Saturday. Uh, Sundays have been selling about uh, one third worse so far, uh, but we're hoping to fix that in future weeks. We've also sold out so many of the tours with me that we've added more. And if you still don't see a time that works for you, if you want a dry dock tour with me, we've dropped an email address in the description below so you can reach out to us if you need a special uh, time accommodation, and, and if I'm available, we might be able to work with you. Some of the major upcoming projects this week are we're going to start getting the ship's three CHT tanks, the sewage handling tanks, uh, prepped. So we're going to clean those out while we're here in dry dock. And we're also going to start prepping for the 5,000 ultrasonic shots of the hull so we can determine the shell plating thickness. And of course, we're going to start putting on the first coat of paint. Some of the paint has just arrived today. Another project we've been working on is testing the through hull blanks. The original Navy fittings aren't good anymore, so we're drilling and tapping for new nipples to attach the compressed air line to, and that is limiting us to about five blanks per day. So far, about half of the blanks have failed the, the air test. However, when we've soap tested them, there haven't been any bubbles which means that the air is not leaking out of the blank, it's leaking out of the 80-year-old valve inside the ship that hasn't been maintained in 30 or 40 years. So that is not a concern at all. Uh, the, the fact that the blanks have all held so far, except for the one that we knew wasn't going to, and we haven't even tested that one yet, uh, is great. Because we're only doing five a day, it's going to take us most of the project to work through all of them. But We'll keep you updated on the project every Wednesday at 7 as things progress. And if you want to see the work for yourself, 
Be sure to get your tickets for a dry dock tour linked in the description below. Again, there is a limited number of slots available. We're limited to daylight hours and we're limited to 10 guests per tour. So there, there are only so many slots available for you to take. Make sure you get some before they sell out. What stage of the process are you most interested in seeing or learning more about? Which stage do you want to come out to the dry dock tour to see? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you come during the first week, you're going to see a very different scope of work happening in a very different part of the ship than what you'll see if you come on week six. But remember, it's only an eight week project and we're already two weeks into it. You're running out of time. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us on the channel. Thanks for watching.